back with you here on Belmont at Nina. You've got a 7-Eleven at the corner, and there's water in the street. Uh, something's going on there. Uh, the sewer is supposed to be uh, clear of any debris, but there's uh, water in the street, a lot of water in the street here. Okay, as we're going uh, northbound on Nina from Belmont, you see a lot of trees overhanging here. And, uh, a lot of park, a lot of parking here. Uh, I don't believe there's any more parking spots here that you can park. I mean, this is uh, a lot of vehicles parked here. I was wondering since it's the holiday, these people are just visiting, or these people actually live here. There's a speed hump here. I see a couple of dead branches right above the street that need to be trimmed. You got the sewer that's caving in. You got water in the street. The house is for sale over here. And on the corner of school, uh, the, the Nina sign is missing over here on the on the south uh, east corner. You know. Uh, all right, let me pull over here and let this car go by. Okay, he went past. All right, now you got a a tree that's like a three bear hug tree here that's overhanging in the street. A lot of dead branches up there. That needs to be cut down before it falls down. Alright, again the sewers. The sewers are all chewed up here. They look very bad. They're cracking. Again with the dead branches. And you got this, the catwalks are caving in. I mean somebody can fall and trip over those things because they're under, going underneath the curb talk about that at a later date. The sidewalks are all cracked. And the worst thing to do is, is foot traffic. If you're a senior citizen, you're not looking down at the ground. You're looking ahead of you. And if you get into one of these broken sidewalks, you could trip and fall and uh, you know dislocate your shoulder, break your hip. Uh, anything can happen. As we're crossing over Roscoe, there's uh, a big tree. You can't even see what's going on the other side of Roscoe. If any other cars are coming at you, it's very bad. They should trim that down. Trim it down or take it out. I would take it out. All right, you got water in the street over here. You got uh, a patch that was done. Uh, I don't think this was the city people doing this one. I think this may have been a gas leak or something, or something wrong with the gas there. You got patchwork all over the street, you got trees hanging down. Uh, water in the street. You got a lot of patchwork, you got another low hanging tree. I'm going to see if I can get all the way over to the left so I don't hit this low hanging branch. I mean it's very, very bad. Going on the street, uh, coming up to, uh, you can't even see the street signs with the branches hanging over. It's Cornelia here. Cornelia and Nina. A lot of low-hanging branches, you can't even see the street. Water in the street here still. Need a street sweeper out here to clean all this tree stuff. I guess the, the tree buds, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you got patchwork going on here. And you got a probably a clogged sewer. I mean, they, they fixed the street, they fixed the piping over here, but they left the sewer untouched. I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, it rain, only rains for a short while. It's halfway up the curb. Imagine if there was a downpour. All that water would be up over the curb and coming up into your property. That's almost as bad as uh, the sewer, uh, the toilet coming over here. And here you got a tree sitting at 3540 North uh, Nina, and this breaking up the, the courtesy walk and the catwalk here. It looks real, real bad. And you got a lawn basin right next to that tree. Imagine what's going on underneath in that lawn basin. And I'm coming up to Edison. I'll see you in the next street.